In this video, I'm going to talk about making external links from your InDesign documents, which will end up as interactive PDFs, to outside sources on the web. So I'm going to start by grabbing a link to this really great demo on YouTube. So I'm just going to copy that link. And in my document, I'm just going to share the same text box. So I can put in text like view my website here, but I would probably also want to include that link because not every browser or app is gonna support interactive PDF features. So you could do something like, like this, or you can type out your website address and you can do your character styling or maybe introduce some button-like elements so that your user knows that it could be clickable. So once you have the text in to make your link, I'm going to highlight it and in my hyperlinks panel, which is under window and interactive, I'm going to click the side menu and go to new hyperlink. And I'm going to change the link to to URL. So this will send it to an external website. So I'm going to highlight that and paste in that long link that I copied. Now it's also automatically using our same hyperlink style. If we wanted our external links to look different than our internal links, we could always add a different character style to handle that. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to save my document and export it as an interactive PDF, not the default print, but interactive. And I'll check view after exporting to make sure I get that document open immediately. And I'll click that link. So it's this. And up here, that video has opened and begun playing. The other way you could use this feature is with an email. So you can type that email in, highlight. Go to that same menu, choose new hyperlink, and choose email from the link to. So you can automatically choose a subject line to be generated. And again, you could alter your hyperlink style. When this type of hyperlink is used, it will automatically open the default mail application, which as you may have experienced is not always great. So you may have some email in the default application, but the email you actually want to use is one that's web-based. So I would be careful if you want to use these links. It may seem like it's a feature available and we should use it. I actually don't recommend it. It's just as easy to copy that email address and for someone to create an email in the application that they want. So that's how to make your external links in InDesign if you're exporting an interactive PDF. One final note, you have to remember that when you package a document, it has a PDF preset in your package settings. So when I go into package here and I'll click through all the prompts, it has our PDF presets here and that's based on a print PDF. So we can check and uncheck that, but we can't change it to be interactive. So it's important to remember that you need to separately generate your interactive PDF in order to have these functions actually available.